Welcome back to my beginner's guide to getting started with art journaling. How are you all doing? Have you made a start with breaking in that blank page like we looked at yesterday? I do hope so because the idea of this series is not just that you watch but you actually play along with me and create your first journal page. Today we will be continuing on and we'll be experimenting with some written journaling and adding some layers of paint. If you enjoy this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so I can keep you in touch with videos coming soon. My name is Jenna Byrne and I help people encounter God through mixed media art journaling. So go and grab your kit that we prepared earlier and your sheets, A4 sheets that you've already started wrecking and we will begin. We're going to do some written journaling today and we are going to do it on one of the sheets that we have already started working on. doesn't matter which one you pick, just grab one that takes your fancy. I think I might go for this one here with the coffee rings on that's calling to me and we're also going to grab our writing implements as well because we're going to do some writing. So what do we mean by journaling? Journaling is something that I've done my whole life so even before I started working in art journals I used to keep a journal or a diary and it's something that I've found is a helpful tool for organising my thoughts, letting out my emotions um, I've done it my whole life and now I do it as part of my art journaling practice. So on many of the pages in my actual journals, um, you will see in the background writing. Let me just show you under here. There's writing. It's scribbly writing that you can hardly read. But this is a brain dump of my thoughts and feelings on that day. You see on this page. Um, faintly in pencil that I've written along these wiggly lines and that's where my journaling is on this page so sometimes it's completely covered up but invariably you will see some of my handwriting on the page usually as one of the lower layers that gets covered up because we want it to be private don't we we don't want um, people to read our innermost, innermost thoughts and feelings. Um, so one of the ways that you can keep your writing private is to completely cover it up with paint and collage and things like that, which we are going to be doing. We are going to be covering up a lot of what you write. But just to be on the safe side, use your messiest handwriting. I would hold your pen not too tightly like this so we have nice control, but hold it maybe a little bit further back, a little bit more loosely and write all in one continuous stream. So I've written there, hello, my name is Jenna, but you probably can't make that out. And if I hadn't told you, you would have no idea. You don't have to do that. You can use your own handwriting if you prefer. Um, that's just a habit that I've got into to keep my writing private. So the next question we might ask is what are we going to write about? Well you can write about literally anything that you want to write. If you're not quite sure where to start I have for you a gift. I have a sheet of journaling prompts. So if you head over to my website and go to jennaburn.com forward slash get started you will be able to download if you haven't already uh, a um, getting started journaling pack and one of the pdfs in that pack are questions to prompt you to start journaling to keep it super simple the question that i often say to people is how are you so if someone wants to come up to you and say how are you what would you say? You'd probably say, I'm fine, wouldn't you? That's the classic British answer to that. I don't know what you say in other parts of the world. <laughs> um, but if someone then says, how are you really? Then maybe after the second or third time of them asking, you might let your guard down and actually tell them the truth. And I would like you to write your truthful answer to the question, how are you as you're journaling this morning? 
let's say I'm going to do the same. I'm going to speed this up so that you don't have to um, watch me write every word. You'll notice as I write, I don't start up here and work my way along like you would if you were writing in a notebook with lines on it. I will probably start in the middle. I will move around. I will turn my page in different directions. And that just all helps to add to the interesting visual effect that your writing is providing in the background and make it a bit more illegible. So you'll see that as we go. You can use any of your writing implements that you've found. I'm probably just going to keep it simple with um, maybe just a pencil and a pen this morning. OK, let's go for it. See, I haven't completely filled the page, but I have written um, in patches all over the page. I mainly stuck to my pen and my pencil, but I did use this felt tip, blue felt tip pen, a little tiny bit towards the end. And that is already starting from a visual perspective to add some interest to the page. So we've got our messed up uh, wrecking layer whatever your layer was mine is some coffee stains and then we've got this scribbly writing in a few different shades over the top and I already think that that is looking interesting from a visual point of view. From the point of view of the meaning of the page I have offloaded um, some of where I'm at and I often do this at the beginning of the process because I feel like by writing it all out, I am letting go of whatever kind of stresses and strains or worries that are bubbling along inside of me. I'm giving them up to God. So when we think about that compassionate person asking us how we are, we can think of that as the Lord. The Lord cares for us. He cares how we're doing. And the, in a sense, the rest of the journaling page practice is going to be us letting go of those feelings and giving them up to God and receiving from him anything that he would like to say to us about what we've written. So he might just want to reassure us of his love or encourage us to trust him with whatever's going on in our lives. Um, or he might want to say something more specific to us to give us guidance about how to move forward. So that is the beginning of the conversation with God that we're going to have. The next step for us is going to be to add some collage today. So we're going to, from our stash, we are going to recover our glue stick. We can put our pens and pencils back in for now. And we're going to pull out our collage papers that we found in our recycling. And also, if you've had chance to go to my website and download your Get Started pack, we also have this rainbow collage sheet. This is, again, if you go to my website, you can download this for free as part of your Getting Started pack. But if you haven't done this, don't worry, it's not essential. So we are going to simply stick some collage pieces on the paper. So the journaling for me, I find it quite intense in a way. I, I do feel like by the time I finish journaling, I do feel some sort of release and that I'm starting to feel better. But I still feel kind of slightly like I need to take a breath after that and one of the ways that I kind of take that breath as well as taking it physically is to move into a session of play and play could be anything we could play with paint but today we're going to start with collage we're going to take our larger pieces and we're going to tear off some smaller pieces 
actually just the act of tearing a piece of paper I find really therapeutic. So I'm going to go for three pieces. Notice I'm not keeping the pieces exactly the same size and exactly the same shape. I'm looking for variety here. So some of the pieces are bigger, some of them are smaller. And I'm going to do the same again with the security on the rope. And I'm going to choose one of the colours from this rainbow collage sheet as well. So I'm not going to tear up the whole thing and add it on. I'm going to kind of decide now on a colour to add to my page. And I might be thinking in the back of my back of my head about what emotions came up for me as I was journaling. So if I was feeling really joyful, I might go for a kind of sunny yellow colour or if I was feeling angry, I might go for more of a red colour. I think I'm going to go, I feel like sort of an orangey colour might be good. Yeah, I think that's good there. So that started to introduce a little bit of colour into the page. Now you've noticed I've kind of made sort of three little bundles here for my collage paper. And um, with collage, um, it's good to bundle up your papers rather than spread them out too thinly. Well, I like that effect anyway. So we're going to take one of our bundles and start sticking it down. I'm going to put the biggest piece down first, which in this case happens to be this stripey one. And I'm not afraid of hanging off the page or at least going right up to the edge as well. Don't clump them all in the middle. All the while taking some deep breaths and releasing all those thoughts and feelings to God. Okay, we're going to continue our playing now with some paint. So again, we can put the lid back on our glue, pop it back in our journaling kit. And I'm going to grab my watercolours, my brush and a pot of water. So we're going to add some colour now to our page. Um, I'm going to choose two colours from my watercolour set and I'm going to be led by the colours that are already on the page. So I've got some light blue here from the journaling, so I could go with that. I could keep it really neutral and add some browns and some greys. Or I could go with this kind of burnt orangey colour and yellows that I see in the collage paper that I stuck on. So I think I'm going to do the latter and go for that. So I'm going to start with a kind of burnt orange. I think this is possibly a burnt sienna type colour. Now if you're using acrylics, what you need instead of watercolours, what you need to do is put a small amount out on your palette and add lots of water so that it ends up as a nice drippy puddle that you can use. So I'm making the puddle here on my watercolour set. And we're going to start at one edge and I'm just going to create a puddle of paint at the top of my page here. And then I'm going to keep adding water until it starts to drip down the page. Now you do need something to protect your surface with when you're doing this technique because it is likely it's all going to run off. So I'm just going to keep adding water. Do you see that drip just go? And that one there. Let's wiggle it around a little bit. Oh, and there's another drip. Okay, and I really like this drippy effect. It um, reminds me of kind of the washing away of things. Um, washing away some of that stuff that I 
dumped on the page in my journaling the way that Jesus washes away our sin, all our sin and guilt and shame. Now I'm going to add my second colour. I'm going to kind of continue on along the top of this page here. This time I'm going to add some yellowy orange. Just continuing on along the top here, making another nice puddle at the top of the page. And again, keep adding some water until it starts to drip. And you can overlap your colours so they sort of run into each other and you get a variation in between. So I've got the kind of ready brown and the yellow and then I've also got in the middle here a nice orange appearing as those two colours mix. Don't worry too much about it. The, the point of this is it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be play. Um, if yours is not looking like mine, if it started to look messy, don't stress. It doesn't matter. I've just tipped those drips off. I'm just going to wipe them up. Okay, and now I'm going to turn my page upside down and I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm going to add some of this ready brown at the top add a bit of water until it drips down just a way of getting some color and interest onto the page with these drippy marks so there's other things you can do as well you can splatter paint that's another fun thing to do so I'm going to stick with the same two colours so it doesn't get too crazy. Oh, look, there's a big splodge. So I've got the watery paint mix on my brush and I'm just tapping my brush. There's a bit too much going on there. You can try it on a scrap piece of paper first if you're worried. But I don't worry about these things. Um, I'm just making some nice little splatters Across my page like that that's interesting you could even start um, doodling so you could turn your paint brush over and start moving some of that if you've got some big puddles of paint around like this um, you could try just kind of like pushing the paint around a little bit like this Maybe we could make some kind of flower shape here. Maybe I want a little bit more yellow on the page somewhere. I feel like I need something going on on this corner a little bit more. This is just getting a little bit of colour onto your page. So I think that's enough. We don't want to cover the whole page. We're not trying to completely make it one big wash. I think we're going to leave it there for today. We've done our journaling and we've started to cover it up and let it go. We are going to add some more layers tomorrow and finish off our page. But as you can see, we've made a really good start here. You're already halfway there to creating your first journaling page. So well done you. Brilliant. If you want to know more about art journaling, more about journaling, journaling as in written journaling, um, there's a whole module on that in my online course, Wild Art Deep Faith, where we look at how to journal our thoughts and feelings in more detail. But for now, thanks for being on the journey with me. Make sure you don't just watch this video, you actually grab a piece of paper and give it a go for yourself because that's what this little mini series is all about it's about getting you started with art journaling if you've enjoyed it give me a like a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you have any questions or don't understand anything or you need a bit more explanation please do ask i love interacting with you guys and helping you out as much as i can but for now, I'll say bye and I'll see you tomorrow for our final video of the series to finish our page.